Hello friends, this video on sorting materials into groups part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So we saw that uh, there are various properties that a material can have. A material can be transparent, a material can float in water, a material can be soluble in water, uh, the material can also be insoluble in oil, a material can be hard, a material can produce sound. So you know, there are various properties that a material has. Now depending on what kind of properties a material has, we group them into uh, very different categories. So that, that's what we have learned here and now we will look at some of the questions where we will see how exactly we group materials into different categories based on their properties. So question number one, name five objects which can be made from wood. A lot of things in your house are made up of wood. In fact, most of the furniture, whether you talk about bed, you talk about table, chairs, doors or almira or cupboards, they are all made up of wood. So wood can be a constituent for all of these. Now, why do you think wood can be used to make these furnitures? So one thing is because wood is opaque because you do not want your door to be transparent so that people from outside can see everything that is present inside your house, right? So opaque is one such property of wood because of which you would like wood to be used to make furniture. Secondly, wood is hard it is not very soft so that that will give stability to all these furniture strength stability structural stability to the furniture so that is also another uh, important property so you know looking at the properties of wood it has been decided and that's why it is used for making furnitures question number two select those objects from the following which shine glass ball plastic toy steel spoon cotton shirt so if you look at all of these, which one would you think has a shiny surface? Definitely the stainless steel spoon because if you take it in front of you, you can actually see yourself. This surface is sure shiny. If you think of the glass ball, there also the surface is shiny. It is uh, like a smooth surface. But when you talk about a cotton shirt, it doesn't have any shine as such because cotton on its own doesn't have any shine. You think of a plastic toy again, it doesn't have any shine of its own. Question number three, match the objects given below with the materials from which they could be made. Remember an object could be made from more than one material and a given material could be used for making more many more objects. So when you talk about a book, a book can be made up of paper, yeah. Do you think a book can be made up of glass as well? No. Wood, no. Leather, no. Plastic, no. So book can be made up of paper. Think of a tumbler. A tumbler can be a glass tumbler. A tumbler can also be a plastic tumbler. So both glass and plastic can make a tumbler. You think of a chair. So a chair can be a wooden chair. Yeah, it can be a wooden chair. A chair can also be a plastic chair. Now see, how am I deciding? Looking at their... So, the basic thing behind it is their properties of these materials. So you cannot have a glass chair because glass is fragile. It will break very easily. Think of a toy. So a toy can be made up of wood. Yes, it can be made up of wood. A toy can also be made up of plastic, of course. And a toy can also be made up of a paper. For example, the paper planes, the paper boat, they are made up of paper. Think of shoes. Shoes made up of leather, yes, but glass shoes, wooden shoes, paper shoes, not really. So leather can form, make shoes. So that way, you see, looking at the properties of the materials, you can decide which material can make which object. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.